Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, happy to see that we have a lot of participants in here, and hopefully we will, we will have a reading and learning full session this morning. Back to you, Adrian. Thanks, Patrick. Okay, let's kick off. So Sersha has been in the business of securing data, documents, people, and devices since 2001. Uh, we recently had our, our, our 20th birthday. Um, we continue to develop secure, flexible platforms for companies to work with and easily integrate into their business processes. In these 20 years, we've delivered a number of projects across the world with partners and end customers to achieve scalable, secure deployments that yield fast returns on investments. Now, DigiCert has been a big part of that. Um, the relationship um, between our two companies goes back um, 10 years now. Um, and DigiCert has deployed key Assertia products and technologies into their electronic signature market offerings. And we'll speak about that during the presentation today. So firstly, just a quick overview of the products here. So there's two products that have been deployed by DigiCert. Firstly, Signing Hub. Um, this is a workflow engine um, and it enables accurate and secure document preparation and handling. It's a secure, uh, stable and mature product, um, having been in the market for a number of years now. Sitting beneath that is ADSS Server. Um, this is our cryptographic engine that underpins Signing Hub providing trust services, um, including both TSA and core PKI functionality. Both ADSS and Signing Hub are part of uh, DigiCert services. Other things that are important to Assertia are conformance and open standards. We focus on open standards and are actively engaged with key industry bodies. Currently, we're members of the Etsy task force working on standards for qualified remote digital signatures. And we take security very, very seriously and have achieved common criteria against our products. Let's move on and have a look at the Cloud Signature, Cloud Signature Consortium or CSC. CSC is a global open standard. It allows applications and services to leverage digital signatures. And it does that in a non-proprietary way. And that's the key, key thing here. That means that you can have multiple third party business applications interacting with multiple TSPs or QTSPs to perform a digital signature using centrally held keys. The IDAS regulation has provided legal standing to cloud-based advanced and qualified electronic signatures. And in 2016, industry leaders and academic organizations united to form CSC, the Cloud Signature Consortium. Assertia complies with the IDAS Etsy EN419241 standard and also the EN419241-2 protection profile with sole control assurance level two. So let's look a little into the advantages that CSC offers. So I need to introduce you to Steve. Steve has a business application that he wants to use to sign documents. In order to, for Steve's application to sign documents and have a publicly trusted signature, it needs to integrate with a remote signing service provider like a TSP. However, in order for that to happen, Steve's application must also have a, a proprietary integration written with that RSSP. There might be a late notice requirement from Steve's business also asking for some qualified signatures. 
So Steve now also needs to integrate with the proprietary integration to the RSSP that can also act as a QTSP in this account. So you can see in this diagram, these proprietary integrations. In comes the Cloud Signature Consortium. All of this means that Steve only need make his business application CSC compliant. And that will give him instant operability with any CSC compliant remote signing service provider. Okay, at that stage, I'd like to just hand over to Patrick. Patrick's going to take uh, control of the screen. Over to you, Patrick. Thank you, Adrian. Let's see if I can go back to my screen again. And probably you are seeing my screen currently. And I switch over to my part of the presentation. Are you yes, all that's seeing? Perfect, Patrick. Thank you. Um, as Adrian has uh, stated in, in the previous uh, slides that he did, um, we are, uh, let's say, and I think we are even uh, longer than uh, having a 10 year relationship with Azure currently. Um, but based on what we did as um, DigiShirt and mainly uh, in the past as Covadas, we built a digital signing solution, which is fully EIS created. And when we were acquired by DigiShirt early in the 2019, um, DigiShirt has also decided to create a document signing manager. And uh, let's say we go a little bit deeper into that part. But first of all, I, the people that don't know us, um, the DigiShirt is the world leading um, CA globally. And that is very important also related to the Cloud Signature Consortium. And here you see a quick slide on the history of DigiShirt. And then you also see that they acquired Covadas back in 2019, uh, mainly based on, uh, let's say, the European footprint we have, but also related to all the uh, EIDAS accreditations we have as a company there. I said, um, DigiShirt is a market leadership with a lot of customers and a lot of uh, um, expertise and uh, knowledge within there. And that's exactly what we uh, would try to bring to the table there. Um, if you look at DigiShirt Document Signing Manager, uh, what we are trying to achieve and already do for a lot of customers is the delivery best in class signature trust. Um, we see a lot of, let's say, signing platforms available in the market, but um, let's say not always they are bringing uh, the best class signature trust to the table. Um, and what we see in, in principle, if you look at uh, signing documents, but not only signing documents, but you can call it an object, um, that of course it's all about non-repudiation and integrity of the document, but what is very important which identity is at the end on that document. And there you see a lot of difference. There are a couple of business drivers uh, and mainly also the COVID pandemic brought a, uh, a lot of initiatives into a, let's say, speeding up on what we see there. First of all, we have seen that the business process transformation has given us a boost on the document signing manager processes. Um, as you know, and as you probably are also doing a lot of work from home, we have seen in the last one and a half years during the COVID pandemic that lots of people are working from home. It's not easy to get signatures uh, directly from the people that you need. And what we also see is that a lot of regional and industry uh, requirements are now, let's say, uh, focusing on document signing. And of course, and not uh, the least important, also, a lot of CISOs are now looking at document signing, where security is a real mandatory requirement to fulfill. As Adrian already said, if you look at the CSC um, goals, that, let's say, maps almost one-to-one -one on how DigiCert is organized. And just a, a little background, um, 
DigiCert is a global operating certificate authority, but we have local expertise in the different regions in, uh, let's say, you know, over the world. Just to, to give you a quick update, we have more than 1,500 employees located all over the world. We have offices in Europe and in USA, Asia Pacific, and Africa. And the goal is to act as a global supplier with local support and expertise. And this is also a little bit related to what the goal is of CSC. Because if you look at the goal from the Cloud Signature Consortium, it's not only focusing on EIDAS, and of course, eh, the EIDAS regulation is the most regulated uh, version uh, of it, but it goes also, it goes beyond. And that is a typical match on our company um, because we have decided to build a document signing manager that we as DigiCert can use globally. And that also means that we can meet globally local uh, requirements based on whatever region you are in there. Um, and that's what we have seen. If you look at the situation before CSC, and um, let's say let's be aware that CSC is still a in development um, situation, so we'll, there will be new updates uh, coming on. But in the past, if you did any kind of digital signature, you had to create multiple identities uh, and mostly one for each environment that you are going to use. So when I was signing, for example, in a, a financial industry, I need to create my account, I need to create my identity, and that was only usable to sign documents in that specific area or in that specific industry or even in that specific um, customer uh, supplier relation. When following the Cloud Signature Consortium API, it makes it possible to have globally one digital ID that I can use, and Adrian already explained it, that I can use in multiple environments or platform or systems. So I can have one digital identity, which is in this case hosted by a uh, QTSP or an RSSP, as Adrian called it, depending on whether you are qualified, yes or no. And I can use the digital identity in every other system which supports CSE. Um, and of course, if, uh, if you look at the situations where propriety integrations are being built, um, yes, of course, that's nice, but that also creates what we will call a kind of vendor lock-in. And that's exactly what we don't want to have. If you look at DigiSearch, um, because we are a global operating CA, we have a comprehensive type of certificates that we can provide. Maybe most of our uh, attendees will know, but uh, as DigiCert providers, we are accredited to issue certificates out of the Dutch uh, governmental route owned CA, which is called PKI override. But we have also uh, the qualified certificates that come out of the, what I will call the old provider CAs. And because we are now part of the DigiCert organization, we have also the certificates that can be used globally out of the DigiCert environment. So we, we are able to give you the best of breed brands wherever you are globally located. So that is a perfect pick uh, if you look to the CSC goals there. Just a quick overview. Um, we are able to offer both e-signatures and e-seals. So you can sign also on behalf of a legal entity and that's what we call uh, e-seals. And we have the ability to issue globally um, AATL, so Adobe uh, Trusted Certificates out of the DigiCert environment or out of the Covada Certificate environment. But we have also accreditations in the EU and even in Switzerland. And our, uh, let's say our offering, independent on where you are located, you're able to issue all these types of certificates within our document signing manager offering. A little bit back to um, why we think it is important, or we are uh, in the opinion of uh, importance, why you would sign with a certificate. Of course, everyone wants to know the document integrity. And everyone wants to make sure that when a document is signed, 
that it also has non-reputation. But the most important part from our end is that the document contains the right identity. And that means that if I'm signing as uh, Patrick a document, I want to see my identity on that document. And that people that are opening that, in this case, specific PDF, will see that it is signed by me, either with a qualified or a advanced certificate, doesn't matter. I said, what are the DigiShirt advantages? I said, DigiShirt is the best in class trusted service provider with a robust organization. I said, we have more than 1500 employees. Um, we are having uh, multiple instances across the world and all those instances that we are using are all based on the same common infrastructure and vendor principles. So it doesn't uh, have a difference whether you are in Switzerland or in the US or in the Netherlands. The systems that we are using are standardized. Most important for us is if you look at document signing manager is the way you can onboard people uh, because everyone knows that uh, if you are used to uh, use USB token or smart cards, um, the hassle you have to get the certificate installed, get it up and running within your infrastructure. Um, if you look at the EIDAS 2.0, you will see that a lot of things are based on usability at large scale. And that means that we have been working on a lot of efficiency steps to make it as easy as possible for the customers to do onboarding, to do signing, et cetera, et cetera. But keep in mind, uh, we still have to comply to all the EIDAS regulations. And that will is a, let's say, a little disbalance on what you can do based on user experience versus what we have to do in the compliance area. And what we have decided is that we will support in our solution all level of assurances in there. So from basic to uh, level of assurance, high independent where you are. Um, what are the specific digital providers advantages? Because um, the EIDAS accreditation is still based on the provider struggling PV entity in the Netherlands. And as you see here, and I'm not going to repeat everything, um, the DigiCert providers is certified against the latest standards uh, based on Assertia products. And that means that we are using a, a signature activation module, which is uh, not level one certified, but dash two certified. But we are also already using a CP5 crypto device within our solution. And that means that we are already certified against the latest standards. And one of the latest buttons that is at the top, uh, at the bottom, sorry. Uh, for us, it's very important to have what we call the, the global approach. So we offering a solution based on a global uh, enrollment, but able to support you locally and also meet all local regulations and requirements. And for um, the user, it's a what we call a one-stop shop providing model. So we are providing you the digital identity and the remote qualified signing services within a trustworthy environment. Just to try to avoid that everyone is pointing to each other and saying it's not my problem. For the more technical people under uh, our audience, uh, here you see a little bit the remote signing architecture that we have been implementing, whereby you see the user environment at the left side of the screen. And yes, we are using uh, also ourselves signing up as our, what we call signing front end. Uh, we will show you, by the way, a demo later on. Um, at the moment that you are going to land on our qualified for service provider environment, you will see that space on the CSC. So that means out of signing up, you will land on our, what we call IDP, and we will use the rest in the back end. All signing requests that needs to be authorized, either AHL uh, advanced or qualified, will be done based on the mobile GoSign app that we have been implementing. Also, that will be part of our uh, demo later on. 
for the people that know signing up a little bit, this is the standard screen that we have. Uh, and as I said, we have, we call this the signing front end. And at the other hand, we have uh, our dashboard, which is called the document signing manager, whereby you fully control this remote signature management. So in our environment, uh, you will see the users, the validations, what will uh, expire the number of signs in one dashboard. So there are, in this case, uh, in the user, um, few, two different systems in there. The left one is what the end user will see as a signer. In uh, the right side, there you see the dashboard that sees as a, call it account administrator, where you can manage all your users in our environment. Are you in the meantime ready for the demo? How it will look like? Let me switch to my screen there. Adrian, are you able to see? Yep, I can see it. Okay, thank you. Uh, as said, we have built our solution based on the Azure product as signing up. And you can see there, you see the, the branding. Um, so what I will be doing here is logging into the system. And by the way, uh, you are able to do single sign-on if you wish. Um, for the people that use signing up already, it is a uh, familiar dashboard. And what I will do is I will create a workflow for me. So this is the normal way of um, how you will use signing up as your front end application. And here comes the integration part. When I click on this, uh, we have now the ability to configure what we will call multiple CSC connectors. And I explicitly did in our demo too, I have the ability to uh, select here which remote service provider I would like to use. And when I click on this one, you will see that I will, oh, sorry, let me, do this one again because I was already logged in during my demo. And that's not fair because otherwise you won't see exactly what is happening there. Give me two seconds, you will always see. So I will do it okay. again for you. That one. So back there, I, I have to, uh, the ability now to um, create multiple, uh, let's say, endpoints. And for example, if I click on this one, you will see that I will land on a digital providers identity provider, which is there typically for the usage of EU qualified certificates, because that is fully hosted out of our Dutch data center. If I click this away and I click this again, you will see in the second part that we have also a environment that is in this case hosted in the Switzerland, because we are able to um, use also within the same system, uh, the use of Swiss qualified certificates. And because the regulation uh, in Switzerland requires us that the certificate will live in our Swiss data center, we are able to guide you or redirect you directly to the correct environment. Just go a little bit back because I will do it based on the EU situation. Um, the first time you will land on this area, you will sign up as a new user because we need to know who you really are to be able to issue you a um, EU qualified certificate. In my case, I already have gone through that setup. And the next time that I will come here, I will use my own uh, login there. Let me do that directly. And at the moment that I log in, what will happen is that the system based on the CSC API will check in the background if there is a certificate for me, yes or no. 
and it's even checking whether it's a certificate that is meant to be for signing. If I have multiple certificates, and there you can see, I can select which certificate I would like to use for this signing transaction. In this case, I leave it the same there, and I click sign now. What now is going to happen, and I'm unfortunately not able to show you because I cannot share my phone, but I will receive a push notification on my phone uh, that asks me to authorize this signing request. And I will use, in my case, my face ID to do this. And I've already done this. And that will show you that currently my document is signed. And as Adrian stated earlier, the implementation that we have built is based on industry standards. And that means that when I download this document, this signed document, and I open this in Adobe Reader, just a standard product that everyone can use throughout the world, I can validate the signature. So I don't need to go back to the platform, but I am able to uh, validate my signature in here. And at the moment I'm opening, in this case, the signature details, and I go to the certificate details, there you will see that it is, in this case, me as a person that signed this document. But what you also will see is that a little, let's say, the IDAS logo on here that says that this is a qualified certificate and signature regarding to the EIDAS regulation, and that the private key is hosted on a real QS CD. So that's important to understand. The fact that we have built uh, our integration or system based on CSC makes it possible and it is a, a little repeating on what we have said before. It doesn't matter where you are located in, in uh, globally, whether you are in the US, whether you are in Europe, whether you are in Switzerland, whatever, we are able to give you that one digital identity which you can use in multiple platforms. Let me go back to my presentation because um, there you will have the demo. Uh, go back there. And as I see it is uh, half an hour, you have seen here the demo on signing up based on an EU qualified. We can do it also on Swiss. And then I will hand it over to Victoria again. Oh, thank you, Adrian and Patrick. Um, that was great. Um, while you were speaking, we've had a, a couple of questions come through. So um, I'll just read those out now. Um, so the first one is how will CSC support the evolution of high trust remote signing and the question of legal validity on a global scale? Adrian, do you want to react? All right. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can go to that. Okay. Uh, first of all, relating to the uh, legal validity. Um, the legal validity in, in Europe or in the EU member states is no discussion because um, the EIDAS regulation is a applicable law in all EU member states. So if you are using a EU qualified certificate whereby you sign the document, there is no discussion about the, the legal, legal uh, legality on it. Um, if you go into different regions, it is depending on the, re the recipient of the signature, whether he or she accepts it. Uh, but what we currently see is that if you look at the other regions uh, globally, they are all looking at the EIDAS regulation and they say there it's already written out. There is a, let's say, a uh, consensus of what it is um, and we adopt it. But it's still in other regions up to the recipient of the signed document, whether he or she accepts it. Great, thank you. We've had actually had a few more come through. So let me just read these out. Um, so next question, is it very common if there are two versions of the agreement in digital signing and is it tiered? What do, what do you mean in this case, is it tiered? I'm not, I'm not sure. 
Adrian, could you help with that one? Yeah, I, I looked at the question. I'm not 100 percent sure. So we'll, we can um, we can maybe come back on that one. Um, okay. Just a couple more questions of the question of that. I saw Elspeth and Thomas's um, question yeah. as well. No problem. So next question from Elspeth. When you sign a document, is this document stored somewhere on a system that isn't mine? Um, a little bit depends what you are going to do. If you are using signing up on premise, that means that the documents will reside within the infrastructure where the signing hub is hosted. That means if you are running signing up on premise, the only thing you send to, in this case, the QTSP is the hash value. So there is no document, uh, physical document transported to our environment. Okay, and next question um, from Thomas. Uh, can you validate a qualified signature on the smartphone or will you always need a desktop with Acrobat installed? Um, that little bit depends on uh, the functionality that Acrobat provides to you. Uh, and what you will see is that next to Acrobat, which is a, um, let's say a product that you can download, um, not all functionalities that are in Acrobat on your desktop are also available on the mobile version. Um, but there are some what we call uh, validation uh, websites there you can upload a PDF and they provide you with an overview whether it's signed with a qualified certificate, yes or no. So that's not up to us, but that's in this case up to Acrobat what they provide in the mobile version of the application. Okay, great, thank you very much. Um, and then we've just got one more and then we'll, I think if there's any others, we can always go back to you directly. Um, so, oh no, I actually think that is all, the, oh, sorry. Can we get a trial QVEU certificate for integration? And if yes, who should we reach for it? You can reach for all the questions, uh, sales.nl at digital.com, uh, but be aware um, even when you want to have a trial version of an EU qualified certificate, you need to go through all the, let's say, the uh, vetting steps to be able to, so that we are able to issue you a qualified certificate. But uh, send your message to nl dot, uh, or sales.nl and digital.com and we will provide you the information. Okay, and, great. Uh, just to add, we'll, uh, we'll come back on any other questions that have come through. Um, uh, uh, in an email, but uh, thanks, Victoria. No problem. Thank you very yeah. much. Just one one remark on the question that Arthur has on on um, the two versions. Yes. I ideally, uh, when both of the signatures are on the document, you don't need two versions. You only should have one version with two signatures on it. If that's the question that I'm thinking he's asking. Okay. Thank you very much. That's really helpful. We will come up on the back more. And there was also about a question about whether the slides would be available after the session. The recording will be available on YouTube, uh, on the Associate YouTube channel. Um, and we'll just check with Patrick and Adrian about the slides being available, but we can al always include that if that's possible. Um, so that's all the questions. So thank you so much. That was really interesting. Um, thank you to Patrick and Adrian for your time. That was a really interesting um, discussion. Um, a recording of the presentation will be, be sent to everybody shortly. Um, and if you have any questions or if you want to speak to a member of the team, contact marketing at sertia.com and we'll happily come back to you. Um, so that's it from us today, but thank you so much for joining. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye now.